Wait till you see what Gold Star has going on now. It's the Gold Star Pete Rose Action Glass, a collector's item from Gold Star Chili. Just come to Gold Star for Cincinnati's finest chili. Buy a medium Pepsi for 99 cents, and the glass is yours free. Supplies are limited, so you better hustle. Get your Pete Rose Action Glass free when you buy a medium Pepsi for 99 cents. Take it from a real Cincinnatian. Gold Star Chili is Cincinnati's finest. What's up, everybody? This is John, John Sports. That's coming to the brand new video. How's everyone doing today? We got a really, really neat product in front of us today. I figured I'd pull the trigger on this one. It's the 1979 Kellogg's 3D baseball card set, fully sealed, supposedly. Purchased this off of eBay a while ago, but it's been sitting there um, and it's been calling me to open it. So we're going to open this up today. What we're going to do here is we're going to talk about this set a little bit real fast, and then we're going to open this product up, and then I'm going to pause the video put the cards in penny sleeves and top loaders because i want to keep them flat and in pristine condition um and then we'll go through them so let's talk about the set a little bit the uh cards let me see here there are 60 cards in this set um there are a ton of errors on these cards ranging from trades missing on the back of the cards reverse uh logos of the teams there's even like a tony the tiger logo that's like wrong on one of these cards the list is extreme and long, and I just didn't want to go through it all because it'll take forever to read it. Uh, there's lots of stats errors, too. Now, some of these cards are pretty valuable out of this uh, year's set. As you go back further in years, they're even more and more valuable. It's hard to find these, still sealed. Um, PSA has three cards listed on their database as uh, very valuable cards. If you were to get them graded, they came out as a 10. Uh, there's a Pete Rose card in here, and I think that might be an error card. The PSA values that at $175. There's a Carl Yastrzemski one from um, from this set too. That might be another error card. That's worth about $70. And there's a George Brett card, which is the general card. If you get a PSA 10, it's worth $75. So, and there are other ones that are worth less than that, but they're still they also hold a pretty pretty high value um, in this. We're gonna see lots and lots of Hall of Famers, lots of big names that you know and love. And I'm excited to open this up. So let's get this off this easel thing. And, um, this, so the only thing I thought was maybe suspect was that this might, looks like it was open, but then it's really, really sealed tightly here. So I hope that they didn't like go through this. Uh, you want to get these in these packages like this because they, they stay flat and intact. What happens is, and I, and I've been meaning to pull out old ones that I have, um, when the, uh, elements hit them in the air, any kind of heat, anything, uh, sunlight, they tend to curl and, um, then the cards are really impossible to get back. To the normal state um and sometimes they crack so you gotta be very very careful so we're gonna get this thing open here and let's see yes oh yes they're still in here intact and hopefully they're gonna be good and not stick so you can see the envelope here we're gonna get these open and out they've been sitting in here since 1979 they feel loose that's good um i'm excited to share this with you guys so give me a second i'll be back with these uh you know put it with penny sleeves and top loaders and we'll go through the whole set hang tight everybody Okay, we're back. I finally got everything put in place. All these cards in uh, penny sleeves and top loaders to keep them flattened. And uh, I was really, really shocked to see the cards. They're incredible. Um, they're beautiful cards. Unbelievable 3D type cards. But what I was shocked to see are some of the names that are missing from this year. I did not look at the checklist beforehand or um while well, i was looking at my information i was trying to avoid that so i wanted to be surprised um when i got into these but i was really shocked there were some that were missing some major major names why i'm not sure we'll talk about that as we go along and there are some strange uh, <laughs> strange players in here that you're thinking why was this why would this guy be in here but we got some really good cards here these are incredible i'm, I'm glad i'm able to share these with you um here's the first one bruce Souter. you can see um the they have the the traditional uh, star type border going down there last name picture name. There's a Kellogg's logo 3d superstars There's a young Bruce Souter minus the mustache Try not to get any glare or my reflection on these cards. So I can share these with you There's they had the full names on the back Howard Bruce Souter this is card number one This goes in it um, general information back here. There's team logo major league baseball logos here uh, Here's uh, Tony the Tiger uh, Tony's pick it says up there and uh so i'm not sure there's lots and lots of errors like i said there's 32 total errors in this and some have corrections done um 
some didn't, I don't believe, but like this is like one of the air cards. And I think there's something having to do with the logo here of the St. Louis Cardinals. Here's Ted Simmons. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. And I'm not sure. This might not be this might not have any air, but I think it's something to do with the logo of his cap or the logo back here, perhaps. Um, that's card number two. Next up we have um Russ Grimsley. Ross Grimsley, sorry, the Montreal Expos. Still uh he had the card the following year in nineteen eighties. I think he's in this as well. And then he's got the same kind of haircut, man. He did not change. Um so there you go with that one. That's card number three. There's another is Wayne Nordhagen. This is one I guess you know Wayne was doing well back then. Uh I don't know why he's on here, actually, to be honest with you. He's only got nine uh eight or nine home runs here, it looks like. But he batted 301, so I don't know, maybe there's something might um something about old Wayne Nordhagen that was uh he was granted the uh the, the rights to be in this set. It's a great card here, uh Hall of Famer Jim Palmer. Beautiful card. James Elvin Palmer. Next up, got John Henry Johnson. Oakland Athletics. Beautiful card. Next up, we got Jason Thompson. Short Tigers first baseman later on to go to the Buccos, I believe. In the Expos, too, possibly. This is third year card for him. Uh, Pat Zachary, New York Mets, with a crazy 70s beard action going on there. Cincinnati to New York um, in these years here. So nice that with that. This is great. Dennis Eckersley, awesome card. That's in the Boston Red Sox. Beautiful, beautiful card. Loving it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Beautiful. Okay, next up. Paul Splitorf. Against the Royals. Won 19 games. That's actually really, really good. Forgot about that. Good pitcher back then. There's another one, another great pitcher back in the day, Ron Guidry. Ronald Ames giving around. Let's just say James. That's a mistake there. We might have an error card on our hands right there. Ames seems kind of strange to have as a middle name. I'm thinking it might be James. There's Jeff Burrows. Lena Braves. Next up, Rod Carew. This is great. Awesome card. Rodney Klein Carew. Buddy Bell. Beautiful. And this is just remarkable. I love that old Texas Rangers logo too. I'm not sure if they use that. We'll mention that here and there. It's just amazing. This is a piece of history. These are 40 years old. And um, I think I had two cards out of this uh, this from this set that I pulled out of Raisin Brand boxes. I think they're Dave Parker, which, which is in here. And there's one other one, and my mind will probably get the light bulb going on once I hit it. There's Jim Rice, James Edward Rice, beautiful card there. Next up, we have Gary Maddox, Philadelphia Phillies. Wonderful Gary Lee Maddox. Next up, William McCovey. Is William in the Hall of Fame? I'm not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame or not. He should be. Great player. The Giants. Steve Carlton. Great card there. Stephen Norman Carlton. Got J.R. Richard. This one's got a little bit of a bleeding thing going on down here. I don't know why. Um, but it has a little bleed going through. Seepage action. Uh, James Rodney Richard. It's a really cool card. Paul Molitor, this is great. This he's got his rookie stats on here, so I'm not, I'm not sure they would consider this a rookie card or not, or a first year card, but it's awesome. Paul Leo Molitor, Dave Parker. This is the one I had when I was when I pulled out a box when I was ten. Great card there, David Gene Parker. Here's Pete Rose, awesome card, beautiful. Center is really, really good on this front. On the back, too. I'm not sure if this is something I'll send in and probably won't. I'm afraid to send stuff into PSA like this because uh, they might be very harsh on the grading. Um, uh, or maybe they won't. I don't know. It's just kind of reluctant to send stuff to them as of late because of all the scandals that have been going on. There's Vita Blue. So it's good Giants. Vita Rochelle Blue Jr. There's Richie Zisk. Card there, Texas Rangers days. There's Daryl Porter, the catcher for the Royals. 
Dan Driesen. Cincinnati Reds, Daniel Driesen. Jeff Zane, Jeff Zahn, sorry. Jeffrey Clayton Zahn, Minnesota Twins. Went 14 14 at 3.04 ERA. This blue is really popping out on this particular card. Here's Phil Necro, Hall of Famer Phil Necro, brother of Joe Necro, Philip Henry Necro. Great pitcher for the, for a long, long time. There's with the Atlanta Braves. There's Tom Seaver, another great pitcher, Hall of Famer right there. Tom Seaver, George Thomas Seaver. Cincinnati Reds action. Here's Fred Lynn, great outfielder for the Red Sox for a long time. The Angels, who else? Detroit Tigers, Baltimore Orioles. Frederick Michael Lynn. Had a great outfield for the Red Sox for a long time. This gentleman, I'm not I don't know who he is. William Gordon Bonham. He went 11 and 5 or 6 5, I think. 3.54 ERA. So this is what I'm talking about. So I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with him. I don't know. Um, I don't remember him. Um, we didn't follow the Reds, obviously. But um, that's what I mean. Like, there's a player like that in here, and you're like, hey, well, why is he in here? Minus ones where, where you're obviously starting to figure out aren't in here. So we'll probably see him already. George Foster, great card there. George Arthur Foster. It's a monster of a player. He is not in the Hall of Fame. That's just a, it's a crying shame. He should be in. Terry Poole, Houston Astros. Terry Stephen Poole, good outfielder for them. John Candelaria, great pitcher for us for a long time. Also the Dodgers, I think, and Angels and Indians and other teams as time went on. But he was good with us. The Candyman, John Candelaria. Next up, we got Bob Nepper. So it's good Giants. Robert Wesley Nepper. Freddie Patek. Another one that you're kind of shocked to see in here. Uh, considering he bad two, wait, two four, wait, is it two forty eight? So tiny. The lighting in here tonight is not good. And uh yeah, so you know, wonder why is Freddie Patek in here? I don't know. I mean I know he's a good fielder and stuff, but you know, it just seems sort of odd. Chris Chambliss, New York Yankees. Carol Christopher Chambliss. Next up, we got Bob Forsh, Cardinals. Robert Herbert Forsh. King Griffey Sr., nice card there. George Kenneth Griffey. Next up, Jack Clark, massive power. Long time with the Giants. Who else? Cardinals, Padres. Jack Anthony Clark, one of my favorites. And the Giants, another one, Dwight Dewey Evans, great card here. Beautiful, the young Dwight Michael Evans, Boston Red Sox. Lee Mazzilli. Another one, you're wondering, okay, why is Lee Mazzilli in here? He bet two, wait, 273, 19 runs for 61, 51 RBIs, whatever it says there. Lee Lewis Mazzilli, good out, you know, good average outfielder, good player, but, um, you know, Wonder why there's here's another one. This is Mario Miguel Guerrero. Hmm. Interesting. Made it in. Kellogg thought he was good enough to make it in. Larry Boa. He was in the Hall of Fame. Lawrence Robert Boa. Of course, Carl Stremski. Great card there. DH Outfield. Carl Michael Stremski. Great player in the Hall of Fame. Unbelievable. Okay, got a few left here. Got Reggie Jackson, RM Jackson, it says here in the front. Instead of Reggie, but they couldn't fit it in there. DH and outfield. Reginald Martinez Jackson. Great player. For a long, long time. Rick Ruschel, Scott Cubs. Ricky Eugene Ruschel. Mike Flanagan. Saw a picture for the Orioles. Michael Kendall Flanagan. Okay. Got Gaylord Perry when he's in the Padres. That's one awesome card. Um, very cool card there. Old Padres uniform. Gaylord Jackson Perry. This is his first year with the Padres, too. He was in Texas a couple of years, Cleveland. Uh, then the San Francisco Giants for a long, long time. There he is for the Padres. Okay. George Brett, great card here. Awesome. George Howard Brett, beautiful card. Here is another one that you're kind of scratching your head about. 
uh, Gordon, Craig Reynolds. I guess it's okay. This is really weird. There's like this weird, I don't know what this is, how that happened. Very strange. I don't know what it is. These are sealed. So it must have been something when the, from the machine when it was spitting into the, you know, they, you know, it was coming out. They were putting in the envelopes. It's something strange there. Craig Reynolds. I do remember him. Houston Astros. Wait a minute. That's so weird. Houston Astros, but he's got the, that's a wrong picture. It's very strange. No, it's him. Because there is Seattle. Okay, so they just didn't have the new uniform. The new photo with this the Astros uniform. That's interesting. That I've never seen one of these types of cards before. These three cards are usually on the ball and stuff. David Lopes. Billy Dodgers. David Earl Lopes. Billy Allman sporting the stash. He was the number one draft pick back in, what, 73? Before that, maybe. Um, William Francis Allman. Good fielder, you know. I think he's more of a singles hitter. Here's uh, Jay Howell, or sorry, Roy Lee Howell. This is Frank Tanana, Frank Daryl Tanana. Angels. Here is Douglas James Rowe. Ro. I don't remember this, this gentleman. But it looks like he won 15 games for the Dodgers that year, or the year prior. Sorry. Here's Rick Monday, the Dodgers. Here is John Matlack, Rangers. Jonathan T. Matlack. And the last few cards here, last two cards are Ronnie D. Ronnie Jackson, R. D. Jackson, Ronnie D. Jackson, the Angels. And the last card of the whole set is Jim Sunberg. James Hart Summer. Who are we missing from this? A lot of guys. Why? I'd like to know. I have to look at the history of this and what happened here. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have missing players like, let's see, Dave Winfield. We're missing um, uh, Carlton Fisk. We're missing uh, Nolan Ryan. Who else are we missing? Probably some other ones that I can't, can't think of off the top of my head. But there's some big players that were doing extremely well back then, too. They're not in this set. It's very, very strange. So, or maybe they felt they weren't good enough to go in there, but I'm surprised that like, you don't see Nolan Ryan here because he had seemed like he had solid years every year. Um, unless I'm missing something, of course. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't want to be a part of this. Maybe they're, you know, they uh, refused. Who knows? I don't know how they worked that out back in the day. For this, but regardless, it's still an awesome set. This was killer to find this on eBay, 1979. Basically sealed set, and it was because you could tell once I opened up the actual envelope. These have not been touched in 40 years. It's a piece of history. It's incredible. I'm glad I was able to share this with you. We didn't go as deep into the cards we did in the last one. We talked about their hobbies and stuff, but it's okay. I want to mainly like highlight the cards and just talk about them. Um, and that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm glad I was able to share this with you. I'll keep searching around for other years of these cards. I like them. They're awesome. I get to add them to my collection. They're collector's items. They're, they hold some value. Uh, and, you know, some of them are, you know, Highly valuable cards, and some just hold general good value with them, so that they're unique products. And again, I'm glad I was able to share this with you. Hey, sit. Let me tell you, if you're not subscribed, you like what you see here. Here's the subscribe button right below my index finger, right next to that is a notification bell. This would be a thumbs up piece of history here. Four years old, Kellogg's 1979 3D baseball cards. How can you beat that? That's su super cool, killer product right there uh, that we found. Um, comment below. Let me know what you think of these cards. Why you think some of these guys might be missing from there? Is there some information you know that I'm not aware of? Put it down below. Um, curious to see why there's some big names not in this set. Uh, what else? Share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. eBay store link is down below in the description. I lowered some prices on some cards. We're trying to move some stuff out, so go take a look at it. Um, I've got a lot to update, too, on there, too. So there's a bunch of items on there right now. You can go check it out and see what you think. And that's it for today, folks. I've got more videos in the way. Stick around for those. This is John John Sportsman signing off. I'll see you all soon. Major League Baseball presents Big League Tips. Here's how to figure an earned run average. First of all, take the total number of earned runs that you've allowed, say 20. You divide that by the number of innings that you've pitched, let's say 80. Now, that'll give you a figure, 80 into 20, of .250. Now you take .250, multiply that by 9 to give you a number of runs per 9 inning. Yeah, this would be 2.25. An ERA of that, you'd be pitching awfully well. Baseball fever. Catch it. Major League Baseball.